Hi Booktube, Lynette here and today's video is going to be the no disclaimers tag. Question number one is what is a trope that annoys you and miscommunication, always miscommunication, especially in romance um, because half the time the reason there's a miscommunication is because one person decides not to speak their mind at the point that they should have spoken the mind in the first place and it just frustrates me. Um, so yes, definitely miscommunication. Question number two, which writer or writers do you think are overhyped? Ooh, controversial, Brandon Sanderson. I've only read two Brandon Sanderson books. I've read Elantris and Warbreaker. And while they were good, they didn't blow my socks off. I can't see why Robert Jordan picked him to finish his series after he passed away. Um, I can't see the excellence in his writing yet i might as i read more books i am prepared to read more by him i've enjoyed what i've read so far they just haven't haven't quite hit the sweet spot for fantasy for me question number three is what are your least favorite books since joining booktube difficult there's a couple of romance novels um that i read earlier on this year um i'll put them up on the screen because i can't remember the titles of them now one of the authors was cindy freiberg um there aren't any that i've really read because of booktube that um i've not enjoyed uh so it's not that part of it um but other than that yeah i think we all get two stars two star one star books i've certainly had them pre booktube um booktube certainly wasn't the start of me not enjoying books by any means Question number four, what is a terrible ending that spoiled an otherwise great book for you? Um, although The Magic Cottage is one of my favourite books of all time, I don't know that it ended as well as it could have done. It's kind of a they drive off into the sunset and everything's all well ending and yeah it doesn't with all the drama of the book beforehand it does kind of feel like a bit of a letdown the end of that book for me um so so yeah so definitely that one the magic cottage question number five is which fictional character do you wish had not been killed off spoiler i'm gonna put banner across the screen saying spoiler just in case um severus snape I wish he could have lived. I think it would have been interesting to see a development of his character with Harry knowing his reasons why he behaved the way he did. Um, and yeah, I, I do wish that he'd had more time. Question number six, what are some of your bookish pet peeves? Dog earring, breaking the spine, writing in books, um just generally not taking care of them um yeah don't do any of that to my books or you have to replace them question number seven is what are some books that you think should get more recognition i've read a lot of romance romance is a massive genre um and i think there's a real resurgence at the moment for historical romance but i think the contemporary romances um I think there's been a real surge in romances with sexual content um, in the last 10 years because of books like uh, Fifty Shades of Grey and I don't think they get as much love as they could. Romance is still a genre that's very looked down upon even though it um, by all accounts it um, accounts for the majority of the money in um, the book world and book publishing um it still doesn't get the the love so i'm gonna say actually instead of a book um i'm gonna say romance because i don't think it gets the love that it deserves for what it does for the whole of reading in general question number eight is what are your thoughts on censorship and banning of books i don't agree with it um i think we're all free enough to be able to make up our own minds about what we want to read and certainly in the case of um, my nephew I've talked about a few times he's quite an advanced reader of his age um yes I'm reading books 
that are for the older part of the age range that he's in and slightly beyond to see if I can find things for him that match his reading ability um, that doesn't have content that would be disturbing to him at the age that he is. Um, but no, I don't think that we should actually ban books. Um, I'm, I'm old enough and wise enough to know what I enjoy, the difference between right and wrong, and I can I can make assumptions and I can make judgments and I can make choices based on that. So that was the no disclaimers tag. As always, I tag all of you to do it as well. I will leave the questions in the description box down below. If you've enjoyed this video, then please do give me a like and subscribe if you haven't already. I make videos and put them up every Monday at 6.30 p.m. UK time. And I look forward, as always, to seeing you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.